Hello! It's me, creeping in the background. Hopefully the mic's on. Should be on. I don't know. It's all a mystery to me. I like the end music. Do you like the end music? The end music is very peaceful. And then it plays the, uh, the classic jingle when you actually go to sleep, if you have forgotten that. Um, I'm gonna do some storyline. It's been a while since I did that. And that's primarily because I wasn't having fun with the summoners, so I've swapped classes entirely. Uh, I am now a bard, which branches off from the archer. So basically I'm an archer with an instrument that I carry around in my pocket or something. I don't know where I put it. I seriously have no idea where you keep these things. But I've got some sweet looking armor apart from the fact that my shorts are pink, but most of those are covered up, so it's kind of irrelevant. But, you know. By the way, that's my boot. The whole thing, it goes past the knee and it counts as footwear. I don't know, whatever. But, uh, it's been like two weeks since I did any of the storyline. Uh, so hopefully we can continue that now because I am enjoying the archer quite a bit more uh, than this summoner. The summoner did dots and then it basically just spanned ruin. You know, there's times where you might use bane or uh, eye for an eye, but beyond that, it's basically apply dot, spam ruin, reapply dot, spam ruin, and then your pet just does whatever because you can't control your pet while you're casting something. So most of the time you can't control a pet at all. Uh, but I, I do still have Scholar. I've actually respect my points, if I can remember where they are, there they go. I've respect the points into mine, so my Arcanist is now entirely built for Scholar. So it's entirely built for healing. So I will have that. That will be a thing I have. Uh, but the main class I'm going to be running for now is a bard, uh, and it's got decent gear. It's nothing exceptional. Uh, it's got four, no, yeah, four pieces, five pieces actually of uh, Grand Company equipment. So I've got a Storm Private Bow, Storm Private Salad, or however that's pronounced, Storm Private Jacket, Storm Sergeant's Kex, which are these pink things that you can't really see most of. Uh, and then Storm Sergeant's Ear Cuffs, and then I've got two pieces of Ethereal. So the gear uh, my Archer has is actually pretty decent. It's a bit under level at this point. Uh, in fact, most of it's a bit under level at this point, but it should be good enough to actually run with. I mean, I've got, what, 203 dexterity? It's not too bad, it's not shabby at all. Uh, and then with the buff, I actually get up pretty high, it's this one here. So the reason I like Archer uh, is because it's got more stuff going on. Uh, that may mean I mash the keyboard a bunch and you guys might hear it. I do apologize, but I'd like to mash buttons as an Archer. Uh, you've got your buffs. In this case, you have four buffs specifically for you. So you've got Raging Strikes, which can be shared to other classes, as you might recall. So just a base blanket 20% damage increase. Then you have Hawk's Eye which is a dexterity and accuracy increase, and your damage comes from dexterity, so that's basically a damage increase. Um, and a DPS increase, because your physical accuracy. Then you have Featherfoot. And Featherfoot in dungeons, or fates, or something like that, isn't all that useful, because you shouldn't be taking damage, but it is a good, like, in case of emergency, something's hitting me kind of button to mash. Because uh, it'll help you avoid some of that damage to help the healer keep you alive. Uh, but when you're soloing, it's very useful to have this skill because you just straight up take less damage. Of course, as an archer, you can just infinitely kite things in a circle, but sometimes I'm just too lazy for that. Uh, then you have Internal Release, which is actually from Pugilist, or Pugilist, or Puggle, or Pug, or Poog, whatever you want to call it. Uh, which is a critical hit rate increase, which is really good, and it also stacks with this ability, which is a critical hit rate increase. <laughs> so Archer slash Bard is really crit rate heavy. In fact, I've seen people stack just crit rate materia in all of their equipment. So they're getting, you know, 60, 80 plus percent crit rate, which is crazy. Uh, but for skills, you have, a, you have a healing ability for yourself, which is actually decent potency. 
Uh, it's a 50 more than Cure, or Physic for that matter. But it's uh, you casting it, so the actual Cure amount is a little bit lower, because archers aren't, aren't going to have the, the mind or determination or whatever. Uh, you have Bloodletter, which is an off cooldown attack, so it's just uh, straight damage. Uh, Misery's End, which is another off cooldown attack, which is only usable when the target is nearly dead, so it's basically a finishing move, does a lot of damage. Uh, you can see 190 potency, that's 150. Uh, 150. Uh, you have Shadow Bind, which is just a bind, it's off cooldown. A lot of these things are. Quick Knock, which is an AoE. Good for fates, but other than that, I don't really use it because the potency is a bit low. Uh, Quelling Strikes, which is probably the most useful ability. Uh, because of the fact that archers slash bards are often crit rate heavy, uh, and their first salvo is <laughs> really enmity heavy, uh, quite frankly. Uh, having Quelling Strikes, which lowers the enmity from each attack, is actually very useful. It'll keep you from pulling off of the tank uh, in the first moments of a fight. Uh, which is... I think it's off cooldown? Actually, no, no, I don't think it is actually off cooldown. This is an ability that can actually be shared, so... Uh, if you have the patience to get a archer to, I think, 34... It's actions. Yeah, 34. Uh, you can actually take this to... Basically any other class. Uh, I think it's actually any other class at all. So, uh, very good to have for DPS or even healer, as you can see, uh, Conjurer can take it. White Mage cannot, though. I'd like to point that out. White Mage cannot take it, I just noticed that. Uh, so, that kind of sucks for you, but White Mages already have a reduction. I don't remember what it's called, but they have an enemy reduction. Anyway, uh, you have Repelling Shot, which is just a back step with damage. It's not that good. Uh, but if something is near you, you can repelling shot and then bind it, and then go back to hitting, you know, whatever the tank has marked as the primary target. Just leave it there. Uh, then you have two damage over time abilities here. Uh, you have Wind Bite, which has the best animation ever. Wind damage over time, good potency on the wind damage uh, over time, but the initial potency is a little bit low. And then you have Venomous Bite, which you get much earlier, which has a good initial potency, but the damage over time is a bit bad. Better do that before Star Legs, indeed. Then you have Straight Shot, which is your uh, crit, excuse me, crit rate increase, and it actually somewhat combos with your main attack, which is Heavy Shot. As you can see there, there's a 20% chance that the next Straight Shot will deal critical damage, uh, which is pretty darn good, because when you do that straight shot, it does crit damage, and then it resets the uh, duration of your crit rate increase, so. Good lord. Uh, some of you might notice there's a little two in a bunch of the chat things here. That's because I'm in a new Link Shell. Uh, as you can see here, there's a Rink Shell that no one ever actually uses anymore, uh, which I might leave. I'll probably leave it, but... For now, we'll leave it up there. Uh, this is the story run link shell that was formed by uh, Jinryu Milestone. I don't actually know if that's pronounced properly. He probably doesn't even watch these videos. I might have to tell him I make a video and set his name in it. Who knows? Um, this was made by him on Reddit. I don't remember his Reddit username, but if you're on Moogle uh, and you are, you know, in game or really any point in the game and you want to do story runs of dungeons that are often, say, speedrun, or people are always complaining about uh, someone watching a cutscene in it, uh, feel free to, to message him uh, and get, you know, an invite into the Link Shell. Really nice people, especially him. Doesn't uh, speak English as a primary language, but he does well enough. Anyway, let's go ahead and leave the in-room here. I have listened to that music for a while. That should cover the basis of it. I had uh, like 15 to 30, level 15 to level 30 recorded of the archer, suddenly dramatic music, but uh, it's not there anymore, so sorry, that footage is now gone, so I got the, the level 30 uh, bard footage, so, you know, sorry. 
Uh, if you're gonna get the game, the Archer's storyline is really good. As in, I'm really mad that I actually don't have it to show you, but it's really good, in my opinion. Most of them are. Most of the guild storylines are actually really quite good. Especially the crafters, which are funny. Uh, do I have anything I actually desperately need to get rid of? No. Now then, we need to go to... Uh, this place over by Dry Bones, I believe. Camp Dry Bone. Yes. So, we need to do that. However, there's a couple other things we need to do right now. Um, this one is the thing I probably need to do. You notice I have some high-level quests. That's from footage that is now missing. Apparently, you can grab those quests without being the right level. Whatever. I was like level 30 when I got this. Which is crazy. I'll go ahead and do this one just to show you where it is. It's uh, over by the... What is it called? Over by Horizon. Over by that port by Horizon. Anyway, I don't have cheap teleports, so it's gonna kinda sorta suck, but whatever. And I did show you the Aramen during that bard dealio, that bard video. Uh, but, you know what, let's go ahead and use it again, because it's actually got different music than the rest of them. Although, I have the music on, right? Yeah. So let's go ride this thing around. Apparently this is about as big as the, um... Uh, why am I not capable of remembering anything when I'm recording? Oh, damn it. And I have mentioned the, um... The writing animation is a little bit broken. In fact, let's turn auto run on and spin the camera around. You kind of slide around, and when you're moving, you move a little bit forward on the thing. So... It looks weird, because you just slide around the thing's head kind of awkwardly. I've only noticed it on female Mikote, so keep that in mind. Lalafell ride it face down, which is somewhat hilarious, and like holding on for dear life. I think I mentioned that, but I don't think they have this weird sliding around issue. It's a little awkward. I hope they fix it, but it's nothing major, especially when you're looking at it like this. It actually looks all right at this angle, so. The music for this thing, by the way, is glorious. Let's just faceplant for a little bit. If you haven't figured it out, by the way, the um, mounts have different music. So as you ride different mounts, you'll have different music, which is kind of cool. Pray tell, have you brought my orange juice? I have. Have some orange juice. Listen well. Yes, yes. I know what a colorant is. It's a dye, I'm aware. The garish pink, are you mocking my pants? Dear God. There we go. Now I can dye things. Hooray! I don't really care. At least not right now. I got that quest to dye my... Actually, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... What did I want to do? I don't remember what I was doing. Whatever. I got that to, uh, to dye my... Maybe this is what I was doing. To dye my level 50 weaver gear purple to match my hair color. So, that's a thing I got that quest for. Otherwise, I don't really care about dyeing gear. Especially not at this point when my gear is going to change that often. So, we need to head to Camp Drybone now. I just wanted to show you where it is. It's this lady over here by the Waking Sands at Vesper Bay. 
though. Now you know. Anyway, let's hop back on this thing. I just like the music for this thing. I don't much like the mount, per se, but the music's really good, so I guess I'll deal with it. It's an alright mount. I mean, it's a classic Final Fantasy uh, design, eyeball thing, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. By the way, if you didn't know, when you're fighting these creatures, these uh, flying eyeball creature things, when they do a cone AoE, and they all have this cone AoE, if you turn away from them, you'll actually dodge it. You have to be looking at the eye for the AoE to actually hit you, which is an interesting little touch that they added to that. I'm not really sure why or how they did it, but, you know. It's nice, especially considering that's what it is, is the eyeball looking at you, so if you can't see the eyeball, then it doesn't really do anything. Uh, the wild roses are dead. The wild roses, if you recall, is, or sorry, wild roses, is the keyword, I believe, to reference the people we've been working with. We are all friends of the Scion, indeed. That's what they're called. Fancy terminology that I don't actually know. I wish my character was voice acted so badly. How could this have happened? I have a very angry face going on here, it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, my, uh, my face had a little special emotion going there. Check out my sweet helmet, yo. Smile. Can I have all your gill? Because I like having gill. Often I don't have gill because my uh, retainers refuse to sell things. It's not them, it's actually people refuse to buy things. Hello? Is that Sid? He looks like the Sid model for this game. He's got little goggles hidden up there. Hmm. He's a survivor of the Battle of Cartanu. I think that's how it's pronounced. So kind of this Marquis. Although he awkwardly stares at me, but whatever! I'm assuming he's gonna give me the next quest here. Yes. Hmm. Got an achievement. I've actually got a decent amount of achievements, given I'm not really trying. About 750 points, which isn't a lot, but uh, especially given there's like a billion points in it. What's this? You get a thing. It's got a symbol. What does that mean? That one's got a symbol, too. Hmm. Here's your reward. What does that symbol mean? I don't know. There's a lot of achievements. Some of these I haven't even really touched, like this. <laughs> I haven't really touched the Guildhest one. But I've done a decent amount, so, you know. Progress is being made, I suppose. One day I'll have all of them, and that'll be like 50 years from now, because some of those are ridiculous. The Broken Horologe? Which was found in the pocket of a man brought here for burial. What is a horologe, and has it, how is that actually pronounced? A bullpoint chisel, pair of needle nose pincers. Look at all of the quests around here. Good lord, what does that say? The Voyage of the Gubu. Hmm. 
Interesting. So we need a bullet point chisel and a pair of needle nose pliers. So that one's from the market. I assume this one's from the actual guildmaster. Yeah. So I'm just gonna teleport back to old uh, cause I'm lazy despite the fact it's actually not marked as a favorite anymore. Which sucks, but hey. Eventually I'm gonna start doing these side quests primarily because I just don't want to fate grind anymore. Fate grinding is good for seals, as you might notice. I've already gone through probably 30,000 seals just on buying items, plus the, um, why did I come out of here? I don't know. Plus the seals for promotions, so Ganondorf. Just <laughs> wanted to point that out, I guess. Let us head to the Goldsmith's Guild, which is right there. And then we'll head to the market. The closest one to the market's probably the Weaver's Guild. If I am not mistaking my navigation abilities. I'm only using one mount one hand, so we can't jump over anything. Hello! A very limited number of applications. Hello. This is a city I have yet to make a let's wander around the city video for, so... There are things I am unaware of. There's a little piece of metal there as well. We need to go to Weaver's Guild now, and then we can sprint from there to the market. The market doesn't have an uh, ethernet crystal in it, sadly, so I'm fairly certain this is the closest. If, you'd, if you're um, talking about pure distance, the closest is probably the Adventurer's Guild, but you have to go through a load screen to get there. You have to load to the crystal, and then you have to load through a, a loading blue dot line thing to get to this area. Anyway. Needle nose pliers! Hmm. Discussing a partnership, you say? So now I have to go back to Marquis, so... Back to Drive-In. This is where most of my money goes, because I'm simply just too lazy to ride the Chocobo there. It's not really that far. Especially given the gate that I'm actually right next to. It would actually not be very hard to get from where I was to here, but... Dramatic Chocobo music! That Chocobo reared when I went by or something. I don't know what it did. Do, 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 do. This game's beautiful, man. Seriously. Beautiful. Wish I had a slightly better processor so I could handle the uh, like the market areas when there's like 400 people around. That's something higher than 20 frames per second, but I am running it at the highest settings. So that is a thing to keep in mind. I do ha I hate having to get off the joke about to talk to people, but whatever. I have indeed brought the tools. The bullpoint chisel has a pointed one and is used by expert goldsmiths to perforate soft metals, indeed. And to season mini plate, yeah, we know what we know what needle nose pliers are for, thank you. Ow. My freaking wrist hurts. Please wait here a moment, okay. Hmm. How did I... How did you do what? Fix it? What's with the music going on here? The dramatic fling of my hand there. Chair, 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 chair. This maneuvering with one hand thing is tricky sometimes. By the way, if you're curious, I'm just holding down left and right mouse button, and it causes you to auto run. Like that's why people are staying. You're just leaving them on the ground. Jeez, bury them. I have not come to pay respects. I've come to give you a thing. 
By some manner of clockwork wizardry, this strange contraption can precisely measure and follow the 24 bells in a single turn of the sun. It's a clock, basically? Is that what that is? I don't know what that word means. Well, there you go, it measures the passing of time. So I just wiggle the screen on accident. Excuse me. Hmm. Is it back in here? This is the problem with not doing the side quests, is they clutter up the map. So you don't actually know where, like, the the next story quest might be, because it might be underneath something else. And I don't really care about any of this. Yeah, I don't really care about any of this, because my gear is better. I'll take the silver pieces, though. It's free gill that I can spend on something else haphazardly, because I'm an idiot. Apparently, Marquise is now just the personal repairman of everyone here. What is this? A broken Alembic. This is a alchemist tool, right? Yeah, distilling equipment used by alchemists. There you go. I know that because you can make those as a blacksmith. A bronze ornamental hammer. Dude, he's so demanding. Get me this tool, and then that tool, and then this other tool, and then some more tools to make tools. One of these days, Marquise, one of these days. Luckily, it's right here, so whatever. Actually, I have to use my other hand to jump. I don't have to, but it's faster, so. Now, where here do I need to go? Inside? Is it even here? Um. Hmm. Maybe I just have to find someone here who sells one and buy it from them? No, that's potions and crap that I don't need. I thought there was going to be someone specific in here that I needed to talk to. Purchase tools. Here we go. Bronze ore. That's 500 gil. Good lord, man. I could have actually made that at a much lower cost to me because I am a blacksmith now, but whatever. Didn't want to have to go and purchase the requirements to make it. Just rather buy it and get the quest over with. I did notice the, uh, the Chocobo music seems to, like, save where it was when you got off and then kind of continue playing until you get back on for a certain amount of time. Like, if you get off and then get back on, you know, ten seconds later, continue the music as if you were on it the whole time, which is weird. Maybe that's just me, but it seems like it does that. And then after, like, I don't know, thirty seconds or a minute, it just stops. And it'll restart from zero when you get back on. I've brought you a tool. Standard black or standard uh I think that's a goldsmith tool? I don't know. It may actually be blacksmith now that I'm thinking about that a little bit more heavily. It's outside though. Okay. Out we go. Probably should have finished this fishing quest before I started doing all this so it wasn't uh, jamming up my quest log over there, but whatever. A tall drink of Aqua del Sol. Water of sun? Water of the sun? Hmm. Hmm. Freshly cut Brazud <laughs> was everything of Del Sol here? Jeez. Del Sol, indeed. A wild sabotender, Del Sol. 
Everything is Del Sol. Camp Drago and Del Sol. So, east of Camp Drybone we go to kill some things. The first combat we've actually had this video. Probably not the last combat though, all things considered. I don't know why that flame recruit was mortar murdering, mortaring. That poor swarm. What did it do to deserve such a fate? Look at those beautiful crystals. Hmm. They actually glow during the night the same way the uh, Aetherite Crystals do, so I wonder if there's some sort of relation going on there. As in, like, the, uh, that's the wrong button, the Aetherite Crystals and stuff are of the same material as those? I don't really know, quite frankly. This is the longest interact duration ever. Like, seriously. Hello! And I probably should actually use some of my buffs. I should probably get out of the way of that to use Featherfoot while I'm on it. There we go. And I'll reapply my dots, because now I have my crit rate increases up, so... Look at the massive damage I do, it's ridiculous. It's redonkulous, yo. Okay, so I've got that. Now let's deliver it to this woman. There's a ravenous billy goat. That's a term I wouldn't actually use to describe any billy goat, but okay. We'll roll with whatever the game feels like calling it, I guess. Why not? I think it actually gave me decent experience. Then again, that is rested experience, so I guess it's not all that good. Gabriel Nightforst has logged in. Any future dungeons, by the way, I will be assisted by people in the FC or uh, in the Link Shell. There should be enough people to form at least a four-man party pretty much at all times, depending on if people are busy or not. I have considered your request. The arm of a Sabatender del Sol. The fleshy interior holds a surprising amount of fresh, drinkable water. It is a cactus. That's kind of how cactuses work. Wait, don't drink it! <laughs> hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'll come. Apparently has a thing going for the marquee here. I don't know what to think about that. I'll come. I don't know what to think about the way I've pr decided to pronounce your name either, so... Have a drink. Literally meaning water of the sun, Aqua del Sol was or originally brought back by expeditions to the New World far across the Indigo Deep. Not long after, Eorzeans began making their own variation of the drink from the Sabotenders and cacts, what Cactars of Thanalan. Indeed. Hmm. Do I need to go talk to him? No, I need to go back out here and talk to the I'll come, it looks like. Oh no, but just the woman next to her. Good lord, man, this chain of events over here has seemingly really nothing to do with the overall arching storyline. Some more silver pieces, though. Anything else here I have any interest in? Nope. Hmm, nope. Okay. Hmm. I'd rather not discuss the, you know, transportation of my friend's dead corpse, but okay. I am to take part in this? Speak with the merchant outside the waking sands. Fine. I wish I had left Horizon as my return point. In fact, I need to set something as my return point, but I don't know where we're going after this, because I can't imagine we're going to keep going here very often. I mean, everyone here is dead, so... That Chocobo's sleeping, if you're curious what's going on there. 
So I can't imagine this is going to be the main story of. I imagine it maybe it'll be the church, but that doesn't seem right. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll need to change my return point at some point because it's set to Horizon, or sorry, not Horizon, uh, Quarry Mill, which doesn't really do me any good if I, you know, happen to die. Showing up in the uh, South Shroud does not actually assist me any. There's a boss fade over there. Hello. Oh yeah, I did the quest to gain access to... I hope that one went up. Maybe it didn't, though. I don't know. If it didn't, I apologize, but I, I did the quest to gain access to Chocobo fighting companion dealio bit. It takes ages to level up. This is after, like, six, seven hours of work, maybe? Not dedicated work, per se, but, you know, work on leveling it. Uh, and it's only ha just, ha just halfway past uh, rank two here, which is crazy the amount of experience required for that. Hello, you just suddenly appeared. Hello! I've already been inside, but okay. Or do you just have one of them there faces that people have? Out by the east gate. Hmm. Just leave it to random old me. That's the that's not east east at all. And apparently they're right here. Oh. Let's get a good look at them, shall we? I trample the corpses. Lalafell uh, Gladiator or Paladin, I'm not really sure. Don't know what that guy is, but he has a shield, so he's probably a Paladin as well. That looks like a mage of some description. There's, you know, poor old plant person. Look at this dude's mask. Sweet mask, yo. You're dead, can I have it? I'm not sure that's how that works. Another Lalafell Gladiator, wearing what appears to be the same equipment as that one. Hmm. Ah oh, well, time to carry him. By carry him, I mean kind of pulsate near the ground. I only have to carry four. Also, am I just going to carry four of them simultaneously, or what's going on here? I guess I'm just going to carry four corpses that are potentially much heavier than me all simultaneously. Whatever game. Oh, I have to gather these four. I don't even have to gather the other row. Maybe I'll gather those separately. This still seems a bit silly that I'm carrying four people, but whatever. Are they going to be flowers in my inventory? Or would they be? Or are they not in my inventory at all? They may be in key items. Yeah, there they are. Scion Corpse. That's always good to have in your inventory, otherwise known as a flower, by the way. Carry the corpses to the carriage. I can even sprint! I don't actually... Nope, here's the carriage, okay. I was about to say, I don't even know where the carriage is. Oh, good lord. A disconcerted coachman. Hello. Not like they'll complain if you're rough. Valid point, I suppose. How are, how are you able to fit this stiff scion of the seventh dawn corpse into your bag? Is a mystery best left unsolved? Better yet, how do I fit four of them in there? Four in one trip! I <laughs> reckon there's no need for me to lend you a hand with the rest, then. I think they may be fully aware of how silly it is to carry four corpses simultaneously by yourself. <laughs> well done, Square Enix. Well done. Whoop. There we go. I'm curious if this sliff is actually dead. It just got kicked, didn't it? Maybe it's just unconscious. Maybe we'll see it again one day. Who knows? Let me just gather these corpses into my pouch, which I don't even know where I carry my pouch, quite frankly, because there isn't one on the character model. Alright.
Hello, sir. I have managed to carry another four corpses, despite the fact that I weigh probably like 120 pounds. So... <laughs> probably, probably less than that. I don't know. Fairly skinny. No, actually, it has its own category there. The Sliff's peaceful expression bellies the fact that she no longer lives. Okay, I have to go back. Speak with Elinude. Yep, I have to go back to Camp Drybone. Why not? Grave Dad Zero. Guild Espanola. Invocado al end game. Ialas Futuras. What? Raids de 24 recluta jugadores de todos las clases. Anyway. I kind of know what he's saying. Uh, Spanish Guild focused an end game and future 24 man raids. I don't know what he's saying about de todos las clases. Of all classes? Of every class? I don't know. And Coil Turno 2. Not just any Turno, Turno 2. The best kind of Turno. Anyway, not I'm mocking my own knowledge of Spanish. Not really. I found a small measure of amusement in the fact that I could carry that many. How did they get here before me? I teleported. To Thal's realm, give me a silver. Thank you. Talk to you again. The number of fallen scions far exceeded our estimate. You should have estimated everyone in the building would be dead. Bury the dead in the same plots as those who perished in the calamity. That's kind of sad. I was like, what is that guy doing? And then I, I didn't notice there was a blowfly swarm right there. Whatever. Consider making a pilgrimage to the Mark of the Warden. Where is that? Where is the Mark of the Warden? Wow. Well, I suppose that would make sense, considering it's called the Final Prayer, but, uh, okay. It's not actually that far. I should be over there in a couple minutes or so. There's nowhere to teleport to because we're already on the same region map as it, so... Hello, Sir Valentine. What are you doing? I'm not entirely sure what he's doing, quite frankly. There's a wall there. Warning, wall found. How long has this thing been up, or has it just respawned again? It just respawned again. These things spawn way too often during this event. It's kind of ridiculous. That's sweet music, though. It's like a really fast-paced kind of version of... Uh, this is not the way I want to go. I think this is kind of not at all the direction I want to go. Where the heck did I go here? Oh, I went way too far east, not enough south. All right. It's like a really fast-paced version of kind of standard, kind of, I guess, Costa del Sol kind of music. Beach music, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Stuff. Anyway, welcome to this place. It's the Amalja and stuff. What is this dungeon? Alatali. Not really that interesting of a dungeon, but it's only like level 20 or something. Now, I don't actually know how to get over there. Oh, probably through that little area there. Usually there's a really high level area in at least one of these places. Like one in the Thonalon is like level 45 to 50 or something like that. One in South Shroud, or one in the Shroud is something like that. You know what I mean. 
Probably not, but we'll assume you know what I mean and continue on. Look at all the fireflies. It's beautiful. Let's get off my chocobo if I remember it just jumped off the rock. Whatever. We will pray. I thought I was actually going to use the pray animation, but no, we'll just hold our hand out. Oh, now we're going to pray. Okay. As you kneel before the mark of the warden in a moment of quiet solitude, you breathe deep of the dry desert air. The roar of rushing waters is punctuated by the faint chirping of violkin and the shrill cries of a hawk. The gods, however, remain silent. Hmm. There's a lot of crystal over here. There's also literally no music. Now there is. Eventually I'm going to turn the uh, mounted music off again until we get a new mount. In fact, I'm actually just going to ride the new mount so we can get that music for a little bit here. Why not? It's got good music. Not really sure it fits the mount, but it's good music. So. Whatever. Apparently there's a fate going on over here. Dude. Such dramatic fate music. It's surprisingly... Excuse me. It's kind of early in the morning when I started this. Uh, surprisingly, there's actually people doing that fate, so... We need to go back to the church, yes? So we can make kind of... Uh, this angle? And that should be good. I want to skirt around Drybone, which I think is that right there. So if we just kind of keep to this side, we should be fun. Actually, no. Drybone's right there. That's way closer than I thought it was. That is, in fact, the church in the back there. I didn't realize Drybone was that close. I wasn't paying attention. Gosh darn you, Mount, for being so darn fast. This thing's actually the same speed as every other Mount in the game. As well as about the same speed as sprinting, so. The music is so good on that thing. Livestream. Hooray, livestream references. Okay. Talk to you again. And we cannot bury the plant person thing, sliff, sif, whatever they're called, here because that's not their thing, probably. Okay. Little Solus is next to Crystal, right? Yeah, what is this? This is Hawthorne Hut, which is going to be crazy expensive, but whatever. I've probably spent well over... 15,000 just on teleporting. Probably more than that, too. Yeah. And we're not even close to the end. We're only level 35 out of 50. Also... I think Odin may have spawned. Let's figure this out. Let's actually mention it in the thing. This is Odin's weather. I don't know why I'm checking the map. He doesn't actually get a mark on the map. Let's go see Odin, shall we? We're way under leveled, but I've already gone there once. So North Shroud would be... Uh, Falward Float? Yeah, there's a million people here, so... Let's follow this guy. Oh, there he is. Steel Rain. Found him. Sometimes that doesn't show up on the big map. In fact, yeah, it's not showing up now on the big map. You have to use the, uh, the little map. So there he is. Whoops. 
Let's get that passed up. This is gonna lag like crazy. And I'm probably not gonna be able to see anything, and I'll probably die, but whatever. Where's he at? He's right here. There he is. And I lost it. I'm probably not gonna be able to get anything because freaking spell effects are still on. I could try and turn those off. I forgot where they are, though. Is it system config? Is it... I think it may be system config. We'll just stand here and look at the system settings for a little bit. Movement physics... Where's the spells at? I don't know, look at the pretty effects for a while until I turn them off. Maybe it is character settings? I don't know. Seems like a silly place to do it, but I don't remember where it is. Display name settings, I could turn that off, but that's not what I want. Why can I not type when the microphone's in the way? Spawns in a random part of the shroud. There is one to turn off other players' spell effects, but... Basically, I'm just gonna stand here and watch people cast spell effects because I don't have them turned off. Well, there he was. Hello. Maybe I can actually keep them locked on for a while here. I'm not going to get anything out of it, I just, you know, Odin's here, I may as well show it. Shadow Flare, no thanks. If no one stuns that, they're pretty sure someone stunned it, and I lost him again. This is kind of the problem with Odin. If you don't have it set up specifically for this, you're going to have a hard time keeping him locked on, so... What if I blow all of my stuff? Let's just get as much DPS as my poor little hands can manage here. I'm not really contributing anything to this fight, considering how much I'm missing, but whatever. In fact, I missed my dots, didn't I? Missed that one again. And I'm dead, so that's the thing. There's a gun here. We'll sit here and wait just to see if people are actually successful. Alright, let's... Where is it at? There's somewhere you can disable other people's effects. Let's actually turn that off. Let's turn that on, sorry. Shadows. That's not really what I'm looking for here. Hmm. Noob Bards. We can't see his health, really, but this is actually a measure of his health, technically, so... If you wanted to look at that, I guess. There's a gun near. Hello. Look at my frame rate, it's horrible here. This is why I wish they would move Odin to, uh, like, an instance or something. Maybe a 24-man instance. Target filters, character, battle effects, here we go. There he is. That should help out a little bit. The only other way is to remove the nameplates, which I'd rather not do right now, because, you know, that dude's gonna spam shout like an idiot. People always like, don't spam AoE, don't do this or that. You know how to fix it? Turn off spell effects. And then if you're still having problems, turn off nameplates. Suddenly you can see him. Rez, please? That ain't happening. Looks like they're definitely gonna get him down. Because they're doing really good time. It's 15 minutes in, so... Basically, I'm just going to sit here and watch until it finishes. 
By the way, apparently this name here is actually the person he's taken the form of as far as I'm aware. So when you get the kill, he'll take your form, and then I guess this is the name of the person he's taken. So the last person to kill him was Okiron, apparently. Or so I've been told. Could be mistaken, but as far as I'm aware, that's what it is. So he's about to hit 10%. Which means... Is it 10% or 5% where he starts char charging Zantetsu Zantetsuken? However that's pronounced. We'll see it here in a moment, though, and then everyone's gonna blow Limit Breaks, which is probably gonna kill him. Have to see here. I like people running out of the AoE on that. He never gets most of his AoEs off. Which is good, because he'll murder everyone if he does. Basically, you have to stun lock him for most of the fight. And then whoever's tanking him needs serious healing. They're... no, not quite prof. Freaking Gungnir's blocking my view, yo. I guess it's 5% where he, where he starts it. Watch his health bar down here, by the way. It's gonna drop like a rock when the limit breaks start popping. You cannot stun him out of Zentetsuken, by the way. Good lord, when are you gonna start charging it there, Odin? I would've started ages ago. You're gonna die before you even start. There's Gungnir. I don't know what the Gungnirs do. There's Zentetsuken. Zentetsuken. He can actually proc AoEs while doing that, by the way, and here come the limit breaks, so... Every limit break ever just hit the dude. You can see all of the, uh, the dragoons propping the limit breaks. And he's dead, so... Ray, I got another bronze. Why do I keep getting bronze? I got bronze last time too, and I was dead for longer this time. I guess if you just hit him, you get a bronze. I don't know. Anyway. Anything dropped? Yes. If you get gold, you get four um, mantlets from him, which you can trade in for a single item. If you get silver, you get a single mantlet. This pain might's now just hitting a random person. Uh, if you get bronze, you get nothing. So. The only reason to do that fate is to get mantlets. And the only reason to get mantlets, quite frankly, is to trade it in for armor that you're probably not really gonna use. But anyway, um, we need to go back to just wasted a bunch of gil doing that. But you know, Odin pops fairly rarely. I may as well show it to you while we're here. You should probably say he's dead. And dead. Anyway, I just like showing up to uh, watch that, basically, even though you can't really see anything. Whatever. It, 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 you know, it's Odin. You can't just not watch Odin be murdered? Jeez, what's going on over here? It's a fate, I know, because stuff just spawned, yeah. When Odin spawns, it usually makes the server pretty laggy for a while, even after he's uh, despawned because there's a ton of people located in a single zone, so... Thankfully the server didn't actually crash, so... Sometimes it does that. And we've already read that. This one does not understand! Let me explain it to you, this one. I guess that's their crying animation. I have brought one of yours, but dead. Explain everything at once, walk walking one. Yep, 
Yes, yes, let's sob about Neuroxia, indeed. I'm gonna, when I'm done recording, I'll probably explain to the, uh, the Link Shell how to make it easier to see Odin. Well, Neuroxia kind of got kicked in the face across the room, but, I mean, you know. It was a brave gesture that got you killed, but hey. <laughs> Praying ones. That's all they do. They don't walk, they pray. And they're gonna make me return all the way back there. Let's go this thing. Uh, camp dry bone, 400 gil. Herp derp de derp de derp. I could walk between areas, but really, when it makes you go from there to here to there again, that's like probably 40 minutes, maybe, of just walking. So I'd rather not. That's not how to get up there at all, me. Jeez. At least we're making really good progress in the storyline, so. That being said, I still think, what, are we still on level 34? I don't know. We'll have to see here in a moment. Nope, 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 There we go. I was auto-running and forgot to stop it. You may be pleased to know that in your absence, we entered the remaining scions. Okay. Please take a rest. No, and we are on level 35 stuff, so. Um, anyone inside want to talk to me? Aha, the Marquis. Hello. Apparently he's being watched. Not the girl I know about her. Will you look outside for me? Um, sure. I guess. What exactly am I looking for, dude? Is this where I need to be, or do I need to be over the fence? I need to be over the fence. Luckily, I can jump that high, so. Why would I check this grave instinctively? Like, what's going on in this grave? It's an Imperial dude man, whom I will now murder proc all of my abilities, because why not, and then reapply the dots, because now they'll crit, like that. I actually don't know how uh, damage over time works with uh, crit rate increases, as far as I'm assuming. Uh, it's based on the crit rate you had when you applied the dot. That is my assumption. I don't know if that's true or even remotely true, but that's what I'm working with. So, if someone has some information on how that actually works, I would be glad to know. I'm very sniffly this morning, I do apologize. My nose is super stuffed, so if I sound slightly different, that's probably why. Suddenly windows are really bright. Is it becoming day outside? I don't know. Okay. I will in fact tell him for you, yes. Hello, I meant to tell you things. Heavens forfend! What the heck is forfend supposed to mean? He's a Imperial dude man, McGee. An Imperial short sword, a standard issue blade for all Garleen infantry. Garleen, indeed. We must summon the immortal flames. Okay. Oop, cutscene. I use cutscene probably loosely. Fairly loosely. Hello.
the music that plays when he shows up. Oop. your service. As a scion of the Seventh Dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes, as my grandfather once did. It is no secret what befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focus their efforts solely on reconstruction leaving the Scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And lo, we are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise, and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. The Ixal have summoned Garuda once more, and she torments the people of Kurthus as we speak. Appetite for destruction far exceeds that of other primals. Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to the other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. And for that, we need an airship. Your airship, Sid. I... I have an airship? Yes, Sid, you do. Your very own airship. It was last seen in the skies over Gridania. Not long before the Calamity, so let us begin our search there. An, an airship? My airship? Oh. Wait!
put an end to the primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. Suddenly Chocobo. Hello. Jaster Rowe, your uh, Chocobo is kind of staring at me. I wish it wouldn't do that when it was wearing that. Whatever. Um, let's continue the story. Oh no, it's level 36. Hmm. Out of curiosity, what level is the other quest he has? 35. I guess some silver pieces. Let's accept a bunch of quests around here. And then we will, I guess, do those for a while. A course left unburied is as rich... What? Is as ri What? Is as a rich field to file kin. Herp derp derp herp derp derp. I have literally, basically no ability to speak. We may as well grab this quest, even though we can't complete it. Because we may be, you know, level 36 by the time we get to wherever we complete it, or something like that. I don't know. It's, un it's unlikely, but it's possible. You never know. The final flight of the Enterprise, a curious tale which grew popular in the wake of the Calamity. Uh, northwest from Gridania towards Corthus. So this is going to move us over to Corthus eventually, I assume. Which I have a favored location in Corthus, so... And apparently we need to go to not Corthus, so hooray! Joy. Okay. What about you? What level quest do you have? 18. Don't really care. 18. Don't really care. Especially since they don't give me any uh, elegant pieces for it. What about you two? Do you have anything? Actually, wait. That is level 35. Hold on. What? Yeah. Okay. You that wonder working adventurer. You need some more cloth than you have. Her dirt, black brush station. Okay. What about you? The Voyage of the Gobu, which gives silver or stuff I don't care about, so silver. Which is actually a decent amount of gill, because they're 500 apiece, so for this one quest you get 2,500 gill, which is not bad, really. Hmm, banish the foul things, okay. And do you have a level 35-ish quest, Fondrick? You do! With stuff I don't care about and silver pieces. At least I'm gonna have a decent amount of gill from selling silver pieces, so that's the thing, I guess. Some such piffle, indeed. I suppose I could look for your dude bands. I guess. I don't know. Why the heck not? And all the ones in here are gonna be about level 15 to 20, so... There's one there. Is that it? 
D is for dead. Yeah, that, I suppose that would be true. So the only one here that I can visually see right now... And I am tracking... Where's my quest button? Journal. I could just push the hotkey, but whatever. I actually don't know how to tell which ones I'm tracking. I assume I'm tracking all of these. Plagued by indecision is at the bottom there. It looks like I'm actually tracking all of these, so... None of these are missing. So we have one there, which we can go do. There's another one down there, okay. Anything else? That's probably level 20. So let's, I guess, head east and then south. There's something in central Thanalan, which is right there. Yeah, we'll head east, then south, and then we'll wrap around to central Thanalan so I don't have to teleport anywhere. Should be well enough. There's people digging a grave for that man. I took the least efficient path out of here. I do that all the time. It's only one gate out, and I always take the least efficient one. Whatever. It's all right. I'll survive. That goes a unicorn. You can get a unicorn mount if you're a white mage. Why? I don't know. I guess if you just want a unicorn mount, you can have one. None of the other um, jobs get mounts, which is weird. Eventually, I hope they add the um, the job-specific like AF or artifacts. I can even call it that. Uh, gear to chocobos because they had uh, screenshots of chocobos wearing all that gear and stuff. Is it down here? It's probably down here. It is down here. That's a dead gobu. Is that how they die? They just kind of die and then stuff grows on them. Maybe they, like, turn to stone, I don't know. It looks like he did turn to stone, actually. Specifically here, his eyes and stuff. Hmm. Anyway. Let us use the destination here, see what happens. Some of these interactions are way fast, it's ridiculous. Also, me and this guy are doing this at the same time. I'm sure he's doing something entirely different, but whatever. Hundred and fifty-one crit. The crits for bards are ridiculously high. It's crazy. The amount of damage that bards can output. I thought they didn't output very much damage, but knowing they come from archers, kind of it's just what they do is nuke things to death. Like that. So much damage. Is that all I had to do here? Yes. So if we'll head to the southwest now. To do whatever this is. Mr. Slipshod and Mrs. Uptight. Hmm. That's a reference to something, I'm sure, but I'm not exactly sure what the reference is. I just like their names, quite frankly. <laughs> Mr. Slipshod and Mrs. Uptight there. Slipshod. Thing flashed purple over there for some reason. Just like I made a video for uh, Limsa Lamensa, I will make a video for all of the areas. So Thonalon will be a single video rather than uh, like four, however many there are. That guy's lagging like no one's business. It happens when you jump a lot, by the way, if you're curious. If you jump a lot and you're lagging a little bit, it looks like you're just flying. You sense a hot- oh my god, they're- these things. <laughs> Wasn't expecting quite something so large, quite frankly. But whatever. Not that I really need to worry about tanking damage. They're only level 32 and I dodge so much stuff with that skill up. That it becomes kind of null and void. That's the wrong hotkey. I'm also gonna get hit with an AoE if I don't kill him. mash all of the buttons. I could do the, the kind of archery thing and basically just permakite the dude by doing this. He'll never catch up to you and because you can attack while you're moving you can eventually just kill him like that but you know. 
I'm generally too lazy to do that. The enemy is not still about game. Well, technically they are, I guess. They're just dead on the ground. <laughs> well, nothing much beyond... Rawr. I suppose that would in fact be true. I should take the old Hollet Holly down. <laughs> she of the overtight corset is none too pleased. This is in fact true, I suppose. And we will now travel to uh, Blackbrush Station, as it is colloquially known by freaking everybody, because that's what it's called. Hooray! Words. I'm probably going to go spend those seals on something once I hit level 39, I think. Probably some more uh, Grand Company gear, because that is level 39 gear, so... What is... is this like a sandstorm weather? It is. I wish if you hovered over the weather icon down here, it would tell you what the weather is, but it doesn't. Which is disappointing, quite frankly. I really wish it did, because there's so many different weather effects. There's tons of them, it's ridiculous. Congratulations, Volvina Whopper. Although you're wearing headgear that you should probably not be wearing at level 12, but whatever. It's actually another quest here. Plagued by indecision, apparently. Let's check. There's one up there, which I can grab in a moment. The nose up there. The one I'm heading to... There's only four we had, right? Yeah, that would be all four because the other one is the main story quest. Which is this one. Which is level 36. You! A scrupulous shopkeep. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Awfully kind, quite frankly. Just giving me free stuff. I mean, I didn't have to give you any of her money or my money. You just kind of handed it to me. Which is very nice of you. Anyway, welcome to Lost Hope. A place where there's very few people and really nothing ever happens. Hooray. Tense. Donalon has a ton of people, like, like tent towns, tent cities around it. But I haven't really noticed them anywhere else, just Thonalon. And there's so many of them here, it's ridiculous. Uh, nah, yes, you. I give you... Vilekin Repellent, apparently. When lit, this incense releases a citrus-like aroma that most Vilekin abhor. Apparently they don't like citrus. Who knew? Um, sprinkle the repellent at the destination. Okay. What's going on over here, actually? You should be growing some sort of purple plant. Whatever that's legal. Let's use this repellent. On the stable. Vilekin shall not have that table. For it has been repellented repelled. It has been repelled, except not quite. So don't mind me, I'm just placing citrusy incense on your table while you talk to people. I should, well, I was gonna say, I should show some of the, like, the little quips that you see pop above people's head when you walk near them, because a lot of them are pretty funny. There's actually quite a few references as well. There's sun bats over here. This is not the sun. They're peaceful, so whatever. And I'm way above their level, so it's kind of null and void anyway. Hooray! You're welcome. You didn't even watch me do it, so you don't even know how to use it now. Hmm.
Valid point, I suppose. So that's all the quests uh, that we got from that. So let's head back to Drybone. Drybone. I'm just gonna teleport back. Whatever. Could walk back relatively quickly, but you know me. My insistence on not walking anywhere. Unless I absolutely have to. I'm pointing the completely wrong direction. I want gets all excited every time I go by. It's, oh my god, another chocobo. I'm excited. That's how chocobos talk in their head. Oh my god, chocobo. I should, probably shouldn't mock chocobos. Considering I'm writing one named Vanille, but whatever. Don't question it. Anyway, hello. I will take your silver pieces, madam. Thank you. And I will take your not silver pieces, because I don't think you gave me any. In addition to being tattered, it is also frayed, torn, moth-eaten, moth -eaten, lice ridden, and stained with what appears to be blood. You get what you pay for. I suppose I didn't pay for it, so... This is a piece of piss compared to the last order. Excuse the salty talk. This woman, she's salty. Valid point, I suppose. The Calamity shattered its native mountains and it fled before destruction as a caravan flees before a sandstorm. Years it wandered, we found it dying and received its memories. It had gathered seeds from every land it passed through and they flower upon its corpse. A living map of his loss and exile. Good lord. That's a very sad story, quite frankly. Hmm. That's a sad story for that poor Gobu. Um, yeah, sure, we'll help you. It's level 35, why not? We'll say hello. Hello. That's too many L's in there. There we go. Hello. You've made arrangements with Ermagerd. Okay. I mean, I could just pay for it for you, I guess, but whatever. Apparently, I just go straight there, so. Be silent and take my guild. Pray forgive my outburst, good madam. <laughs> that, that reference. Shut up and take my money. Good lord. Okay, what level quest did he have? Yeah, he had a little one. Um, anything here I want? Nope, silver. I have so many silver pieces now. Um... Well, that's the thing that occurred. Just a random floating person there. There's no one else here I have to talk to, as far as I can see, for this quest, except for... Someone down here. I have to collect a sack of gill from... Zozaru? Zazaru? Where is Zazaru at? Apparently somewhere near me. Or is that the shop I'm standing on? I don't see... anyone else to talk to except for that. So I guess... Maybe we'll check down here and see if it's underneath me. 
That's what it seems like, and there is a thing down here, so let me check. I think this is an inn. Um, excuse me? Hello. There you are. Crying woman and this dude. A gift to father, for Father Iliad. Iliad? I think it's Iliad. Something like that. We'll go with Iliad. Father Iliad. And give the collected gill to Ermagerd at Camp Drybone. And she is... Not in this one. I think she's in the one right next to us. I hate navigating this place sometimes. Hello, Ermagerd. Apparently I'm supposed to get cinnamon from you or something. A heavy leather pouch entrusted to you by Brother Esmore. It contains hundreds of coins. Um, you cannot begin to guess how much coin it might contain. Apparently, Sister Zazuru is loaded. Cinnamon cookies. I love cinnamon cookies. I love anything with cinnamon on it, quite frankly. I just love cinnamon. Specifically sugar cinnamon. Cinnamon mixed with sugar, like half and half. Maybe less than half and half. I don't actually know how much is mixed, but cinnamony sugar. Sugary cinnamon, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Get distracted. Cookies. I must eat cookies. Okay, give the cinnamon cookies to Iliad. I hope he likes cinnamon cookies. I mean, if you don't like cinnamon cookies, you're stupid. That's how that works. That's that. Moving on. It's been... Like, how long? Two hours? Haven't even gained a single level? Sounds about right to me. Leveling gets really quite slow once you hit, like... I don't know, 30 or so? Maybe actually 35, but just doing quests from, you know, about that area is really quite slow. It's kind of saddening, the pace at which you level at this point. I bring you cookies. Crisp, buttery cookies dusted with a hint of fragrant cinnamon. Hello. What? How? Cinnamon cookies by Thal. Cookies everywhere. Their house smelt of good things like this, and there was always an open peg for my cloak and a tall glass of mint tea. When they died, I cried. Or something. Can I actually finish that statement? Is there a side door in this place? No, you guys really need a side door, given how many of you kind of just hang out at the side here for no apparent reason. Presumably because there's a well here. Just chillaxing by the well. Hmm. Would that someday you are indeed half the man that ha that he is. Anyway, for now, I guess we will uh, go ahead and line up with this wall here for a dramatic ending for no apparent reason whatsoever. For now, this is going to be the uh, the end of this set. It's actually the first progress in the story I've made in quite some time. Uh, good stuff happened. We found Sid. That's basically all that happened, actually. But we found Sid. Even though I had sneaking suspicions that, that was Sid to begin with. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.